That scumbag, McCaffrey. He took more bribes than anyone. He thinks he's gonna get an honorable discharge if he turns state evidence. He just squealed. He's under armed protection in Wichita property down in Newport, some apartment behind a car park. Torch that place. That's it. Flush him out when you hunt him down. Make sure he never talks to nobody. He's back. Phil's marriage is saved, and his kids will have a daddy to look up to. Call New Beginnings today. Cinco, 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 nueve dos, nueve dos. It will be a miracle. I guarantee it. Fernando's New Beginnings. We turn an ending into a new beginning. Mom, there's a package for you. But I didn't order anything. What's this? How sweet. Gee Willikers, it's a puppy! Everybody loves a puppy. And now you can ship one. Stop! Watch it! <laughs> and who says that e-commerce isn't a brilliant idea? All right, speaking of brilliant, you're listening to Chatterbox with me, Laszlo. Let's go over here to the phones and see what's plaguing Liberty City. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Wow, I got through. Uh, Laszlo, I think your last two callers are a perfect example of manners in this city. People are rude, and they don't seem to care about anything but themselves. Perfect example. The other day, I stopped at the store to pick up an extra... Well, you'll get no argument from me. I mean, I get every inconsiderate moron in Liberty City calling into this show. I mean, people think that I have no feelings whatsoever. Exactly. A another perfect example. The other day, I'm over at the hospital to have lunch with my girlfriend, Marie, and this maniac comes right up on my bumper, flashing his lights, and I'm like, hey, guys, the light is red. You can't come up behind me calling me flashing his lights. Then he gets over the knee, mega and he says, there's a woman in the field by Bob Zoom on the cross and he's leaving me to the side. Can you believe it? I mean, who has a megaphone rigged into their car? People are so obnoxious these days. And rude. I mean, I call my name my kids the manor. You know, I think that's a lesson to us all. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. Hello, Nando. Did that woman say she was a nanny? Because nanny needs a nanny because he's been a very naughty boy. No, no nannies. Let's go to our next caller. All right. Colonel James P., United States Marine Corps, 2nd Battalion. Laszlo, that caller made a really valid point. These kids today have no respect for authority. And there is one thing that will lift them into shape. Let me guess. The military. The military teaches you respect. OP. That thought they were going to be millionaires. Look where this information highway has got you. Nowhere. The dead end. Uncle Sam takes care of his boys and some girls. If more people would join the military, this would be a better country. These kids don't respect veterans. When I came back from the Australian American War, I didn't get a hero from. I get a pat on the back from my friends and neighbors saying, thank you for fighting for our freedom today. After years of fighting in the trenches, I come back here and everyone's watching TV. Now, can you tell me what this Australian-American war was? I mean, I really never heard of it. God, not another one. Have you read a history book lately? lesson. All right, let's go over here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah? Is that... Hey, Chick, over here. An old army buddy of mine runs a business in Rockford. We saw action in Nicaragua back when the country knew what it was doing. Anyway, some cartel scum roughed him up yesterday. Said they'd be back for some of his stock today. He's gonna need backup, 
and in return, I'll give you a knockdown rates on any hardware you buy. I'd go myself, but the old sciatic is playing up. <laughs> so, uh, good luck. Smiling. What then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. If you are lucky, my friend, but you will not like you, your marriage is ruined. Your sweetheart, she hates you. Your pretty secretary, she wants you to be her man. You back into square one. My friend, you and a thousand men like you. For me, once it was so. But then one day, I was driving my car, and I realized, Fernando, you are blessed. You are a miracle. A thousand miracles rolled into one. You save the marriage and you save the man. You don't put the marriage first and you put the man first. Maybe we call it man marriage. Then I think to myself, no, oh, this is a bad name. It sounds really dumb. Then I think we call it Fernando's New Beginnings. Because that is what it means. AD. Great phone to head, but I thought there'd be more of you. Can't believe those yellow belly bastards left me without proper cover again. Well, three arms are better than one, so grab whatever you need. Those Columbians will be here any minute. teamed up with you in Nicaragua, maybe I'd still have my arm. If you need any firepower, just drop by and take what you need from the lockers. Leave the cash under the bench. Now get out of here. I'll handle the cops. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Lazarus? 